Lego Boys 12 here. Um, I tried making a video like this before, but it all went um, disaster because the camera ran out of power. I was going to make this, and I'm going to show you another one. But um, I obviously made two. But yeah, because I've made two black ones, which are there, I'm going to make a grey one. But yeah, God, this is Seth, I'm back. Hello, and there's Chris. Live long. Who's been making videos for me while I've been gone. So thank you to Chris. So hang on. One, uh, pardon me. But yeah, what you need to do first. You need to get this bit and just cut this bit of the harpoon off here. So cut it off from about here, yeah. So then you you got just that bit. Now you can use this for random stuff. I'm not sure what though. So yeah, so just even that out a bit. Next, I've already got this from the last one, which is quite useful. Get your blue or black. I might actually use black this time for a demonstration. Um, I don't have any other colours of electrical tape, so... But yeah. You want to cut a bit off that is about that size. So I shall cut that off. No. And that's just stuck to a table, which isn't great. Um, but yeah, you get that about that size and you cut about no. you cut about that much off maybe you can make it thinner or bigger if you want but yeah next what you got to do is you can cut the harpoon to whatever size you want and colour it in whatever colours so you put that on there and then you just wrap it around slowly And then you're done for that. So yeah, you've done that bit. Next of all, get your tipex and just take a lid off that. Just put a tiny blob on the end of the harpoon where you cut the bit off. Try not to make a, well, dog's dinner out of it. That's what I did. Yeah, Chris made a dog's dinner out of his dinner. Yeah. But yeah, anyway. While that's drying, I'll just do some random news. Um, yeah. Check out my other account, Bamzuki12344. It's just my usual account. Chris isn't on it. Well, he's a bit just watching the strange videos. But yeah, this is the account that me and Chris share. Chris yeah. does most of the videos. But yeah, before... Um, these batteries ran out, which was annoying, so I only got about four minutes through the video, which was annoying, but yeah. This is the bit of electrical tape that failed because it landed on the floor and it got all hairy. Oh, I'll stick that somewhere there. But now, luckily, if I'm going to make a new harpoon, I've got two spares of blue and black, which is nice. But yeah, I was going to make a black one, but Chris suggested I could have a selection of stuff. Variety. Oh, tea time varieties, yes. Anyway, anyway. Hopefully this is dry by now. Yeah, it's just about. Now, yep, you get your red sharpie. Now I do have another like gun somewhere, but I think I lost it before I made the video. Which was slightly irritating, but yeah. Now you just dab the red sharpie around it. Have a look for that mysterious gun. Yeah, Chris is gonna have a look for the gun. I don't know where it got to, to be honest, but yeah, it takes just gotta have quite a steady hand. Great, now Chris is under the table. It takes a while just to get it all coloured. There we go. Just get there we go. Now <clears throat> that's that done. Now basically, yeah, you got like a good old selection of cap Chris. Sorry. Chris just made the table fall a bit. Now the camera won't stay upright. I shall just be doing this. There we go. It's all good now. But yeah, anyway. There are your free harpoon guns. You can make as many as you like. I've got three now. And also, that's another gun that I've made, and if I find another spare one of them, I'll show you how to make it. 
In fact, wait, I do have another spell on of them, so I can show you how to make that now. And I will. So, first of all, this is just a dull colour one. Just going to be all the way through grey. You get your tip X and you just colour this bit in with the tip X. All you want. Oops, I just got a lot of tip X on my finger. Oops, it daisy. It's a tedious job, but tip X gets everywhere. I will actually show you how to make a couple of guns. This is just really quick, so it's quite messy. I'm sorry, I can't see the other gun. But you've got two amazing ones, though. <laughs> anyway. I shall stand that up there. So, hang on. I shall put it in. Did you just knock over some random kid? Wasn't me. Well, I'll do it. So, yeah, there's the stormtrooper holding that gun. As again, let the tipex dry, and if you want, I'll just show you how to make a couple of weapons today. Um, I will show you how to make this one as well. I shall just get the... Chris, could you get me the bag of weapons, please? I'll just Chris, get me the bag of weapons. So, thank you, Chris, for getting me that. I've got a whole bag of Lego Star Wars weapons, so... eBay is the answer. Yeah, eBay answers life. Even chocolate, Polish chocolate, is tasty somehow. But yeah, with this you just make how you want. Um, I'll show you how to make that in a second. This is quite a long video. It's going to be about ten minutes of just me and Chris complaining and stuff. Mm. <laughs> it's so, life. You get whatever colour sharpie you want now, just to colour this bit in. Oops, it is. And um, I'm just going to colour it in red because red's the one I've got out. And it's the most useful. I don't know why, but it is. And you just put like a couple of lines wherever. You don't have to be. This is just really messy at the moment, and I will need to wash my hands. And if you'd like us to do a big mock scene, we'll plan it right in the comments. Yeah, write in the comments if you want us to do a big mock scene. And we'll use some of these custom weapons. That one's slightly better because I spent more time on it. That's just a random one. I might just throw or drop over there. I'll just place it there. Now this one. You may be wondering how did it well it's pretty obvious actually. Um what I did is the scope. I just chap it off. Yep. Yep. This is a quite good for this, so there, that's the scope done. Now you can like do what you want. I usually did just I cut the barrel off first. Yep. There goes the barrel. It's quite a messy job, so well, untidy or whatever. Yeah. Now you can either keep it like that, but that doesn't look great. So what I do is I chop this bit off. The rest. Just the back bit. Now if I can get it off. So then you just got that thing left. It looks a bit like a pistol. It's really good though. Now this, I just, I usually just try and keep that sometimes because you can make some kind of. Um, I, I tried to make something with it before, but I'm not sure what it was. I like stuck it to some guy's helmet, and it looked <laughs> quite looked interesting. But yeah, now you can colour that bit in with Tipex and put a red dot somewhere. In fact, you could maybe even. Stick that bit there. It doesn't look great though. So, but yeah, sorry, my camera's all fuzzy. Fuzzy, yeah. But yeah, I'm just gonna. <laughs> I like that sound. But yeah, just again put that blob just there. <sighs> Got to be quick now because this has only got a, like nearly done ten minutes, and that. We currently do not know what the next Lego Star Wars review might be. It might be the Battle of Genosis, or it might be one in the summer. Because I'm definitely going to get the Genosis Starfighter and Death and More Speeder, so then. Yeah, I might be getting Battle of Genosis, I'm not sure though. Can you just colour that in? And yeah, that's basically it. Um, this was Lego Boys 12 with um, 
uh, weapons. So, thank you for watching.